All right, here we are. Welcome to day three of five of uh, ever since I discounted the natural dye collection on the seedstore.ca. Um, it's been crazy. So I'm here for a couple reasons today. Number one, to acknowledge you. Uh, a lot of you have actually already been getting your shipments um, and it's been incredible. You guys are amazing. Um, so I'm gonna acknowledge you and I'm actually gonna share some of what um, you have been saying back to me behind the scenes. I'm gonna share that with everybody because there's some really cool stuff happening. And number two, I'm here live right now because I'm gonna share the origin story of seed. And it's something that I get told I don't share often enough. Um, and when people do hear it, they're like, man, like, I can't believe you never told me that before. And so the first off, just like I said, here we are day three of five since I launched um, the discounted rate for the natural dye collection. And we're on hump day, day three. So what have you been saying so far? Some of, some of you, it's been amazing what you've been saying. Um, I'm just gonna read them here. I made some quick notes. Uh, I won't say names, but so excited. Been wanting to pair your pants for about two years now and finally went for it. And then emoji crazy after that. So congratulations um, to you. Uh, another one, best pants I've ever worn. A uh, gentleman in Canmore just got his pants, just sent me this message just right before I started this live video. Best pants I've ever worn. Love it, five words, simple. Um, here's one about customer service that um, I just love. So, hey Blake, first of all, thank you for the super fast shipping. The pants arrived this morning. Your customer service is awesome and you're doing an, a phenomenal job running your business. Keep it up. So, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for the love and support. Um, and what I'm getting at is that you guys are the ones voting with your dollars. Um, so, it's really about thank you for being the ones that create this closed loop of, you know, we create amazing clothing. I get to design really great clothing so that you get to own it and have your ownership experience. So I'm sharing some of the ownership experience um, through these testimonials. And then the final one I'm gonna share is um, one I got from my, my friend. It was um, previous to this, but it's about the natural dyes, which is that's what's the discounted product right now. So I'm gonna share what he said. Natural dyes merge us with, our, with plant medicine and earth medicine in a subtle way, which aligns us and inspires our daily actions to be more sustainable, inspiring all around us to be more responsible on the daily for our mother earth. Bam! And that's exactly what we're doing with the natural dye collection. Um, I'm not gonna go into it, I mean, I just, he said it all right there. So, like I said, like I promised, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna share, I've just got some notes over here to keep me on track. Um, so if you see me looking off screen, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm in here in my design studio. Um, maybe I'll share a little bit about that as we go through this, but um, really what I wanted to share is the story, the origin story of Seed, because a lot of people have heard it, um, and tons more haven't. Um, so it's kind of this cascading story and I'll, I'll cut the first couple parts off, but um, like the shirt I'm wearing right now is a pretty simple shirt, right? But it's got this funky pocket. Uh, you can get into it from this side for some reason, but also from the top. And so at one point I was broke as a joke. I was over $50,000 in personal debt and diving every month going further and further in debt, borrowing money from my parents. And this is not like when I was 16 or 18, like I was in my young 20s and over $50,000 in personal debt um, and just had no idea how to, how to do the whole money thing, how to like live a life where I'm actually purchasing things I believe in. I'm, what I do for a living is what I believe in. And so fast forward a bit from there, I started getting myself on track and one of the things I was doing and what I'm acknowledging all of you for is 
I started voting with my dollars. So um, I was working at an organic grocery store and I was buying organic food. I believe organic food is healthier. So I started buying it and ingesting it into my body. Next thing, I'm in Vancouver and I find this shirt on the shelf. It's an amazing shirt. I was so inspired. It's got these like, kind of like um, tails on it. I mean, I just talked about the pocket. I think the pocket's cool. And I was super stoked then. But um, it's got these like tuxedo tails on the back and I was so stoked on it. The only problem, it was over $100 for the shirt. Um, and I get it now, I can tell by the way it's designed, um, the price point, but you know, at that point I was just stoked and I was like, what's my life gonna look like if I always say no to things that I want? And what's my life gonna look like if sometimes I make it actually happen? And this is the story that I'm telling. I started to cascade and so, um, I went to Burning Man. Have you been to Burning Man? It's an amazing festival. Thumbs up. Um, I went to Burning Man and uh, a couple years. I went there for three years. And on my way down, I flew one time. And I'll show you here. Here is something that I bought myself from the airport. It's this Fimo Clay Buffalo Bison. And it's like this amazing creation artwork. And I was, I was starting to gain more money, but I didn't, not yet. <laughs> um, I wouldn't call myself financially free or loaded, but guess what? I was in love with this. I had a layover at the airport in Chicago on my way to Burning Man. And this thing was like $350. It was a huge investment. And I was like, I kept building on what am I inspired by? What if I own things like this on my coffee table that are an expression of me that I'm inspired by? Um, and so anyway, so here's the bison. And then finally, <laughs> so the FAF sewing machine that literally my phone is on right now. I wonder if I can turn this. I don't think I can turn the screen. Maybe I can, let's see. See if this works. So here's the FAF sewing machine. This is the very first sewing machine that I ever bought, Coverlock 3.0, and it's got 22 in one stitches. And this sewing machine is what launched Seed. Um, and at the time, here I am, this like broke dude over $50,000 in personal debt, borrowing money from my parents, and I'm starting to come out of it, right? Make personal choices that I'm aligned with. And this FAF machine was next. So I had been saving money for a 70 inch TV screen. And this is, Seed is now seven years old. So seven years ago, a 70 inch TV screen was like mega, like big, like cover the whole wall, that was, you know, before that, like 50 inches was massive. So I was saving money to buy this massive TV. And I paused and I asked myself in this moment of clarity, I said, what are the next five years of my life gonna look like if I buy that TV? And I pondered it. Well, I'm gonna, <laughs> Sundays are gonna be amazing. I'm gonna watch a lot of football basically have it on football all day Sunday from the morning to when I go to bed. Um, every night of the week, I'm gonna watch hockey. I'm a kid that grew up playing hockey. Um, so what are the next five years of my life gonna look like? Well, a lot of time on the couch and a lot of sports watching and probably eating out of pizza boxes and drinking beer. Then I asked myself, wait, I've got over a thousand dollars saved up for this TV. What if I actually invest that in this dream I've had for years called Seed? And what if I take that money and actually buy a sewing machine? What would the next five years of my life look like if I actually went and bought that sewing machine? Wow, okay, well I would be designing clothing. I would be going to events like Market Collective, which is a trendy Calgary 
market. I would be going to like cool farmers market. I would be traveling. My life would be about travel. It'd be about creativity. I'd get to actually design um, instead of just always sketching in notebooks. And at that time, Seed was literally a sketch in notebooks. Like I have, if anybody knows me, I have like 20 <laughs> or more um, of these notebooks and, you know, and tons more napkins that have designs, um, ideas for seed, as far as just like fun marketing things, um, you know, like the bracelet and the bookmark, like what if our tags were not throw away? So anyway, I looked, I was gonna buy this big TV, back to the TV. And what I actually chose, as you can tell, is this FAF sewing machine that I just showed you. Um, so I walk into the sewing machine store. I have never, I've sewn actually a stitch or two before, but I've never sewn on um, anything other than a single needle. I, I basically asked my mom in my teens, like, hey, how do I sew? She helped me sew a couple um, pillowcases, some very basic stuff, but that was about it. Now here I am with this dream of launching seed. I walk into a sewing machine store. I have no idea what kind of machine I'm looking for. And, and I leave with this. I'll just show you if you just joined the video and you didn't get this FAF machine right here. So I think it was about $1,300. I put this little sticker here and a Fimo clay um, little whale tail piece. All my sewing machines now have Fimo clay on them like that. But um, and you, as you can see, there's four thread spools on the back. Um, there's actually room for a fifth. So that means you can have up to four threads running through it. So you can do things like cover stitch. Um, uh, lots of different stitches, baby lock, um, and things like that. So here I am. Why am I talking about this? Because I became this guy who started voting with my dollars for the life that I wanted. I didn't know how to sew clothing. I invested in the machine and then figured out I had no idea what I was doing. Then I went and took sewing lessons. Then I took more like advanced design lessons, pattern drafting, pattern grading, and I started to learn it. But what I'm really getting at with all this is you inspire me so much. You've been voting with your dollars for things that you're aligned with, with seed. Um, you know, a lot of you have been sending me messages that it's about how amazing it feels on your body. So you're not wearing synthetic clothing, you're actually wearing something healthy, natural, organic cotton, hemp, natural against your skin, feels amazing. Others of you are uh, like sending me messages about environmentally, this is game changer. From crop to top, seed is an amazing product. It's healthy as in the soil, as hemp in the soil or organic cotton. When it grows, it's healthy through our entire supply chain. We, we cut and sew it here in Calgary. I, do, I literally do some sewing here on my, this is my um, industrial machine now, four thread, Juki. And then I've got a single needle Juki over there now. Um, so some of you are voting with your dollars for the environmental reasons um, and so many more. Go ahead and tell me in the comments what you love most about seed or what inspires you most about seed. And I've only got a couple more minutes and we got a wrap here. And if anybody has a question, feel free to jump in. I'm gonna check my notes and make sure I'm on track. Hey, welcome. Okay, cool. Well, um, maybe you guys are typing away at your questions, but I just want to say in the meantime, I started the video off thanking you. Um, it's day three of five. I'm gonna, I have to turn off the discounted natural dye collection on Monday and today is Saturday. So um, it's a couple days left here, but I just want to say thank you for everybody that's voted with your dollars. You're not only empowering yourself and getting an awesome product that you believe in, um, you're allowing the full circle and the economy to exist and to bring it up. 
And so hopefully I've inspired something um, today and just sharing the story of Seed and how I started it. And, um, you know, we're stronger together. So if, if something got inspired by you today, then, you know, you go out and start making conscious decisions and choices that empower you and your life, um, then there's more of us that are doing great things for each other and for the planet. That's a wrap. Thank you guys. Much love.